I'm itching to do the eye. For some reason, um, the eye always brings a certain amount of life to a painting, and I usually do the eye pretty early on, and it really doesn't matter because usually it's an area unto itself. It's usually not as connected to the rest of the painting like some parts are. So you can do the painting or the eye pretty much in any stage. I've put my mask in there to keep the gleam. And um, I'm going to just drop in um, Burnt Sienna and I've got a little bit of black in my brush. Just very carefully putting the Burnt Sienna in. And usually eyes are not all one flat color. So this eye is a little bit lighter over here. So I dried out my brush completely. And now it's acting like a sponge. And I just kind of touched it into that. I touched it into my wet paint and that's making it lighter in that area. And... Um, this area is pretty light, so you can see it's kind of filling back in. So I'm just going to kind of stay with it and kind of babysit this for a little bit and make sure that I get the effect that I want. I'm going to add a little bit of tiny bit of black to my brush. And just add a little bit of black. Just for some variety, you can't really see it, but that's just making it not all one flat brown color and adding a little bit of roundness to the eye so it doesn't look so flat. And then after that is done, I will go back in and put the, the pupil in, the black part, and that'll really make it pop and come alive and it makes the painting take on a whole different feel when you get the eye done. So we'll let that dry and then we'll do the people.